coming at you with another random review. Today we have Cybertron Backstop, which I believe his name is, which is a Rhino, which is obviously a Rhinox um, homage. He is tiny. He is a scout. He's a scout class, and I know the coloration on this guy is really wrong, both on my camera and on the figure itself. The reason for that is because um, Hasbro decided to paint him different. In the show, I believe he's much silvery and stuff. So yes, for gimmicks, all Cybertron figures have a gimmick. And then i got to find something. Boom, found something. To activate the gimmick. You would just put a Cyber Planet key in, and... Let's see. Boom. He has that, so he would ram people. So yes. Slide that back in, which, because in bot mode, as you'll see, it can't be used. For articulation in beast mode, it's pretty good. He has head, he has each of those little joints, rotation right there, only at that spot, and tail. So, yes. Transform this figure is really, really simple. You want to do is grab the legs and literally pull the whole thing down. Pull it down, there we go, until it clicks. Put the legs together. This is really freaky transform one, too. Have his hand down. Put his tail up, and... Grab that. And that. And you got it, and flip up the head. And as you can see, the head is kind of painted. Okay, so articulation in this mode is slightly limited. He has awkward and, ooh, um, articulation in this arm. He can bend it. And yes, he has butt hand syndrome. This hand can go up and bend in. Legs are freaky. They can do this. Both of them can, so he can sit. And he can bend it the wheel away so he can hacky sack, at least, maybe. Just the gimmick still works, but it's pointless because he can't even look, he can't even move. So yes, but backs up as a as a character on Cybertron, the show Cybertron, not Wolf Cybertron, or the awesome ones, was uh, the mentor to Leo Breaker, or Leo Breaker, or whatever. Icely Coco, how to pronounce it. And he trained him. First he trained Scourge, then when they came, Scourge kind of got corrupted for a little bit and joined them, hence Autobot sign, which is added on because this was in the universe. This was added later on because this was the universe release too. So yes, this figure is nice. If you see him on sale, which you can probably still find him on sale for up like two bucks, get him, get him, he's just two bucks. He's a decent little figure for a filler. If you want something want a Transformer really that's in-depth or complex, avoid him. If you like the Freaky, like I do, because he's technically a Rhino standing up on the side, but I like him. So if you like Freaky, buy him. If you don't, don't. And this is, oh, wow, can't keep up, keep him up. Well, this is Mr. Vash signing off. Rate, comment, subscribe if you like. And have a good day.